Hello and welcome back, I'm Bebo Joe and this is Transport Fever 2. Last time we expanded or created our first mainline piece and there's a lot of stuff that's not hooked up yet. In the time that you weren't here, I did hook up a couple trains, double uh, duplicate a couple trains. You didn't miss much, I'll show you exactly what I did. And today we're going to hook up all the rest of the cargo that we were planning on already last time. Hopefully we will get that done in one episode. Let's go. All right, so what happened? Um, one, I added another train and some more wagons on this um, in our city line that we expanded last time. It's looking really good and it's making money. It's perfect. Um, then I increased the throughput on this uh, mountain log line, just added another train. This one is also making pretty good money all the time. Plus I added another train on the uh, fuel river run. It's doing fine. Um, has been we'll, we'll probably do that for a long uh for a little while and then i added a train line going from white hill um all the way out to blandford forum and there's just one train on here for right now it's making money and that's all i want to see it's not running full all the time so i'm not really going to overextend this most of the people will be in wivelcombe um and that that seems to work just fine so today we're going to hook up everything else first the first and the easiest one is Blandford Forum wants two olds, plus Henley on Thames wants two olds. There are two options we have here. We could use Blandford Forum as a cargo uh, station um, where you drop off and pick up two olds if you wanted to, but we only have one platform here, so I think it's just going to stay as a pass-through station. Um, and a drop-off station, but not really a cargo station. So let's set up the first train. We do have some money now. We have 30 million available in loans, so we're doing pretty good. Actually, let's look at our evaluation. 49 million. Yeah, that's a lot more than we had a couple episodes ago, but um, that's as, as expected. And a billion, we're, we're still pretty far away from that. So let's see. This um, Craven Arms no, central station still is receiving a lot of tools all the time. We want to we want to utilize those. So let's send the first one out to Blandford Forum. You are already able to um, pick up a lot of a lot of um, coverage in this area. So I hope this will just work. Um, that looks good. If we get out of this one, just want to see. Yes, we actually have the whole city. That's perfect. Um, line one. This is just. Let's see. Uh, bland, sorry, tools, bland, delivery, deliver, close, very close. If I could type like a normal person, that, that would actually work. So we get that one. Um, our throughput that we need in Blandford Forum for tools is 75. That will max out our tool factory, actually. Um, kind of surprises me, but that's fine. Um, actually, no, we're fine. We produce what we need, but this one will just um, essentially upgrade to the next level, which is exactly what we want. Let's see what trains we have. And actually, while I'm here, it speed us up to half or quarter speed again. That will just be nice. Um, we don't need the fanciest train on here, but we want to be fast enough that we don't block any of our inner city traffic. So... A 10-wheeler or a 3-5? We're not going to move a lot on here, so I think a 10-wheeler is appropriate right now. I know it's not necessarily a passenger train, but needs must. Needs must. Where is a big box car that we can use? I don't mind using this. Uh, what do we have? 70 was what they wanted, so 75 should be fine. Mediocre. Speed-wise is good. We're not taking out a loan for this. Um, yeah, that, that looks great. Pop you on tool blend delivery. Perfect. Um, we're probably going to go out all the way right away, but there you go. There's the train coming out of the depot. Perfect. First line already established. Everything is great. I think we are at a point um, where we can expand this little piece to double track because I do think once we increase... Actually, eh, do we need to? Do we really need to? Yes, we do need to. This guy is actually blocking uh, blocking the, the traffic there quite a bit. So let's see what we can do. There is no real through train here. There's just two trains that go to these two platforms. Um, nope. <laughs> nope. Changing my mind. The only thing we're going to do is add a passing track in the middle here. Then they um, hopefully can do a little more appropriate things yeah let's go with that let let the trains do appropriate things that's what we want here 
if you go there, if you go there, you go there. Beautiful. Um, that wasn't quite what I wanted. I wanted to have these signals pretty much in the middle, not not where these are, but that's fine. Uh, where they are is not really a problem besides this one. This one could be a problem because you could block this intersection and that's not good. But there you go. Um, now we should have a little increased throughput out here to Blandford delivery. I'm pretty sure Blandford is not parked here, is it? I hope Blandford is not parked here. That would be bad. On the outside track, do you have to be on the outside track or could you go to any of the other ones? The problem that I have with the outside track is simply that I already have a train waiting on the outside um, platform. There you go. No, actually, I don't. Or do I? It's really hard to see. Why? Three. What is three? Oh, three is out here. So, yeah. Um, I already have someone waiting on this um, platform, probably that one. So I don't want to do this. I would like to get the tools out to Terminal 2, and that should make my life easier. This platform here, if I want to put a train on there, it has to be a train that doesn't wait. Otherwise, I just have to add another another um, throughput here, another platform, another station that we can use. I have some ideas for that, but we're not there yet. We don't require that at this point. Great. That is done. The next thing that we need to do is, should I bring more tools out here to Henley on Thames? Probably, that's probably the answer. We are covering a lot. Henley on Thames currently wants 115 tools. So that can actually be a pretty big train. Um, and you want, well, yeah. I was hoping I can combine boxcars um, to do something something useful there, but I don't see a real option. To do that, though, I have to expand this in a way um, that I can have another train fit in here. Let's see if we can do something clever. I don't know that we can, but it would be cool if we could. There's a, The train could access this piece. That's important for what I want to try. I don't think we have enough room for what I want to do here put you there yeah there's also not enough room so we could extend something here nope 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 and the game is already mad at me because i i clicked too many buttons at the wrong time you are probably just looking the wrong way sure <laughs> no you're going the wrong way entirely now buddy go that way um, that looks good. How can we get another cargo station in here and not worry about it? I don't want to build that much. I actually want to get trains out here because trains will make our life go a lot easier. So this is the next um, setup that we will have. Um, and we have our levels 200. That's good. We could move 400 of these to get the first level down. We're not going to get the second level established until we have a taker for all the resources. That's fine. So what we're going to do is pretty simple. Um, get this one just from here to there, sawmill. Um, did I add a crossover track here? I did not. I did not add a crossover track. Okay, I lied. We're not going to make it super simple. We're just going to expand to um, this forest because that will allow us to have a better um, terminal point. We're turning around. Let's do that one. 240, single platform, it's just fine. I'm gonna put this a little out of the way. Um, why? There you go, that should work. Uh, give me some street access that is appropriate. Sure. And sure. Perfect, that looks like a lumber camp now. Um, and we should be able to get a track in here. And this track is going to be able to let the train turn around for wherever he comes from. Um, that's a lot of tunnel. I don't want that much tunnel. A little less tunnel uh, feels better. Um, and we're just going to split um, right after this tunnel. So we don't actually need a super high speed here. But if we can't get it, we'll just we'll just do that anyways. Great. Get that one in there. This one's connected. Signal this up so everyone knows what they're supposed to do. I don't know why the sound doesn't seem to come through when I place these in, in some uh, circumstances, but I think I will survive. Um, let's put these in appropriate places for where the train actually uses them. <laughs> Otherwise, why, why put them there in the, first time, uh, in the first place? That looks good. Let's get back to 
this line, you are two stations in. So what you're gonna do now is go all the way out here. That lets you turn around and drop off the rest in, in here. This train, I may not even have wait until full in any of the places, I just have you continuously go back and forth. So this is the log, the forest. Uh, forest, horse, shoe. Know exactly where that is. This is clearly a horseshoe look, and that's why we call it that. Okay, let's find an appropriate train for that that can transport enough for what we need. Um, I think this will be a real cargo train, though. We are we are going on the right speed that I wanted. Uh, by real cargo train, I just mean... Um, I don't think there's a lot of gradient that we need this guy. I think the Atlantic is fine for this. Uh, what should we use? What should we use? Sure. Um... 159 is just a little too long. This is the length that I usually play, 150 meters. That should be good. Let's send you on your way. Uh, forest horseshoe. There we go. Thank you. Get going. Don't wait for things. Just have it uh, start producing. That's what we want. Great. Um, Henley on Thames. Yeah, I still haven't figured you out, but I will eventually. Now, we will get uh, lumber delivered to this uh, cargo station. That's great. We will have to pick it up from here. I have a feeling um, that this may get overloaded. And if it does get overloaded, we can just expand one of these platforms and have a longer train here. But the way it is right now, is this 240 meters? Each of these segments is 40. So one, two, three, four. This is 160 meters, 200 meters, 240 meters. Yes. Um, so that's, that's the length of train that I can use, and the um, lumber train that I just set up is only 150, so I could actually just expand that one uh, without many issues. So that is good. I'm, I'm moving around here a little bit. I want to bring the lumber all the way here. That's the, that's the final destination. Now, is there a chance to connect this guy to this machine factory? I believe... And I'm not sure 100% that I'm right, but I'm going to pause here. I believe the answer is yes. This is a very nice straight piece of road, and I want to use that. Um, but I don't want to destroy all of this if I can. I actually don't know how this gets so straight, but I like it. Uh, my hope is that I can actually expand or connect to, um, to this factory somewhere like this. Right now, I don't expect this station to be connected there, and that's fine. Um, but what I do hope is if I expand this just a little more, give me a cargo building that is, um, it just, it, all I want you to do is connect to, to the road here. That That's really all I care about right now. So why can you not build that way? Oh, because there's a building and you can't, <laughs> that, that's a little lame. Okay, um, you can go there. Are you in range yet? You are not in range yet. That's not a problem because we can easily, easily expand out this way. So let's take away a little bit of this nonsense. Um, you're lucky you can stay there, but I, I can't delete that piece of road without deleting it. So sorry. Uh, yes. So what we're going to do is expand this where we need it. Good. And this is required. If I don't do this, I can't do... Um, I can't put my plan in motion, essentially. So this is what we have to do. Just a little a ah, little bit of station manipulation to get what we want. Okay. Um, that counts for now. Um, can I get one more? I want one more. I have to go out here. Oh, let's see. Can we Can we reach what I need from this side? Just curious about the coverage. We have coverage from there. Good. Now there's one problem doing it this way. Can you spot it? Can you see the problem? Wivelcomb wants tools. And the machines factory does not um, deliver directly to Wivelcomb from here. You need some way to actually move the cargo. Otherwise, you can't do it. Um, so if I do it the way I have it set up right now... And the city's rebuilding, I actually don't want that. If I do it the way I have it right now, I will still have uh, machines move to somewhere else before it gets to Wivelcomb, and that is a little annoying. Um, but 
Ooh. I'm trying to think, am I allowed to put two stops of a, a, a route back to back? Because then I could have um, a cargo platform that's essentially just going from itself to itself. Um, let's check that. Check that really quick. Give me more cargo platforms on this side and build effectively a super short shunting route. Nothing, nothing fancy. This is just for function over form. You there. And now these two essentially are two separate terminals that may be able to be used. Cargo, cargo. Okay. It does what it's supposed to do. A station appears consecutively twice. That's not really a problem for me, but if you don't like it, that's fine. Um, I will actually just make this a shunting route or shunting yard. That's fine. Um, I'll deal with that later. So we can leave this the way it is. Um, I will just have this uh, be a like a small, a super short shunter that will just move machines back and forth between the same, the same thing. Um, that's manipulating the game mechanics a little bit, but we're going to lose money on that one. So it's fine. As long as we're losing money, I'm not really cheating, right? Because I'm not gaining that much. So I hope you agree that that's okay. Um, cool. Let's make sure that this is all set up correctly the way I need it to be. Um, <laughs> yes, you're going to go. I would like more platforms in here, ideally. Can someone just take away all these things that don't have to be right where I want to build? Thank you. Uh, my problem now is I need enough platforms to handle delivery of um, timber and of steel. Those are two things that have to come in here. And then I need platforms that can actually handle the export of the same products. Um... <laughs> yeah, this is this is not an easy choice. So this is as far as I can go out. That's neat. That's very neat. Um, I can go over there. I would like to go over just one more from where I'm at because that would give me exactly what I needed in this case. I don't really want to make this a terminal. I don't want to run just a line in the middle here because then I can't really use uh, two lines to wait until full. That's not going to help anything that I want. So this is effectively our um, take out route. Is it? Is that right? Don't want... Yeah. This is our outbound track. Okay, that's fine. This can be set up so that's on both sides, but there will be trains waiting inside the station on both platforms each time or all the time. Um, that's important. So let's see. I think it's just not. It's just not. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe I can make it relatively long on this side. Let's do that. I don't love it because I would actually like to keep this where it is, but um, we're going to be able to provide a different way to pass across here uh, later. So this will be our drop off. This will be our pickup. Um, give me a platform. Okay. I know th this is this is really cheating. Um, I'm not proud of this, but now we have the connection for the cargo building. That's what we wanted. And we have a way to connect trains um, through here. And actually, I think it will look really cool. <laughs> I, I think it will look really cool. It just will feel a little bit wrong. Um, that's all. But don't worry about that too much. So there's one. Again, this is the outbound uh, cargo on this side. And that should be fine. Plop you in there. And then this will be the inbound um, drop-off station. Should be good. Um, I just have to make sure that it actually gets gets set up that right way, the way that I need it to. Um, that looks fine. You're connected in the way I need you to be connected. I think this will cause trouble, potentially, but that's, that's all right. Let's see, can I get a passenger building in here? Not there. I don't really want you to be underground, so that's fine too. Maybe we'll just 
be okay with just uh, the street connection right there. That should be good. Um, and then make sure when we're done with this, I will see if I can make this look pretty again. I don't know if I can. Um, that should be good. Track will just be very simple crossover in this case. So um, let's see if this works. Honestly, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't expect you to just do what I needed you to do. Hmm. Mm. I don't have to be clever here. Like, there's there's no good reason to be clever. We are more than fast enough on this side. That should be good. And then the trains are not going to be humongously long. They're going to be pretty long, but not the longest thing you've ever seen. So having this crossover here should be able to give us all the deliveries that we want from out there. And this one will just be our um, log delivery line that comes in from this side. That should be fine. And there's our bridge opportunity, if we want that. And from this side, pretty much the same thing, just a little different. You, if possible, I would like to keep you as straight as humanly possible right here. That's good. And then have these guys just come in a little, a little slower. Um, I'm happy with that. I will be happy with this. And then this one just gets a double slip because this track over here needs to be able to be accessed. Um, if we now just remove these two signals, I think life is pretty good on this side. Every once in a while, I am happy making track laying a little easier and still more complicated. So that one should be good. Um, where's the next signal? The next signal is there. That's a little far out. Just throw you here. Um, should speed up our throughput a little bit. And now we have everything connected. There is this long emptiness that I hope people will just build. That will be great. Um, I will fix this little piece in just a second. What is your problem? Line one. Oh yeah, you, you can't connect that way because you think that you can't do what I need you to do. I remember now. Okay, so this one should be... I would like to not have a level crossing there. Um, there's... Eh, you are living there. Okay, I'll leave you. I'm done. Um, I'm out of money. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting concept there. I don't think that we're really out of money. Um, just give it a minute. What can we do here? Um, I think we can deal with that. Let's turn this thing off. Thank you. Money. Can we have some money, please? Somebody? I don't really feel that we need a bridge all the way up here, but I think we can put a bridge over on that side, and that will be neat. Don't know that we can put a bridge over on this side anywhere reasonable, but we're not we're not there yet. Um, money, are you in yet? No. Okay. Don't have to relocate. That's fine. Just borrow some. <laughs> that there was the money. It just showed up. Cool. Um, have you go over here? Stay. Sure. Stay a little higher up, and then you have a bridge that just goes right over there. It's a little steeper than I would like. A lot steeper than I would like. Um, in that case, sorry, house, you are... You're going to be a problem. Um, yeah, this is better. It's as steep as it goes down, but I think... It is better what we had before than what we had before. Um, it's not the end of the world by any means. So we're just gonna take that. I will give you the opportunity if you wanted to, to build down here. No, I won't because that looks awful. This is already steep enough and we don't we don't wanna cause any um, like earth movement or something silly. Okay, um, this should all work. This road really doesn't have a real purpose right now. So we're just gonna remove that. This piece we have to fix. Um, just these two can go away. And then here's a trick for keeping everything nice and straight. Get your track, whatever you want, pull it out. Make sure you snap to whatever you want to snap to. This doesn't have to be long or anything. Make it level, force it to be level. Make sure that you do that, that's important. Take the next building that you want. This is just the shortest little shunter road that you've ever seen. Um, I'm hesitating because I need a way to get a train on here to actually do, do the shunting. And if I make it a terminal station, it looks like this. That may not be 
possible, but maybe it is. We do have some track in the middle here that is not station track that should be getting us what we need. Getting us. Oh, yes. I am impressed that that worked. Okay. Um, these two tracks on our setup. This guy, you are no longer at this problem because you're not Wibblecomb to Wibblecomb anymore. You're going to go from Wibblecomb to here. That's your shunting line. You're not going to do anything else. Um, that looks good. Can we get a piece of road through here that is reasonable? Nope, not like that. So what we're going to do is get a cargo building in there. And then we're going to expand this whole thing. Yeah, you can fit there, I figured. And definitely fit there. I like that you can fit there. That is nice. Get another small building in there. That is also nice. And then get me a road connection right here. I don't need this building to be connected to a road, but it probably looks better if I let it be connected to a road. So let's just do this. Um, is this an opportunity for a good level crossing? I'm going to go with probably not, but let's try to level this all out just a little bit to make it look a little nicer. Very good, very good, very good. Road? Um, how about road from there? You don't like that there's too much going on here, I think. Put you there, put you here, you're colliding with stuff. Yeah, that's not... That's, that's just not going to happen. We could probably put a bridge underneath here if we really so feel inclined, but we're already, I don't know. I don't, I don't know that this is really necessary. Oh, wow. How much, how much are you going to make me bridge? Um, sure. To keep everyone happy, we can do that. Get you in there, put you in a place where you're not going to mess with this connection because that just by pure extension of the roads may eventually get killed. So here's one trick that I like to use. Once you have the tunnel established where it is, you can make the gradient a little smoother by just deleting it out back to the tunnel and then it doesn't look as steep as before. It's still pretty steep. Um, I don't like it. I just don't like it. I don't want to concentrate on this, but I don't like how that looked. Uh, the other thing that you can do is one, two, page down. Wasn't it page down? Is it M? I th what happened? I thought page up and down at some point were my friends. To go up and down. Did they remove that? Did they change that? Um, if that is the case, XZ, no, MN, no. Oh, okay. So, comma is down. Good, good. Glad I found that. Um, it's not this guy. It is this guy. Um, potentially one level higher. So, period goes up. Yeah. So, this is the lowest level. I saw you work. Let me work. There you go. This is the lowest level that lets you build a bridge. Um, I would like to start on this side then. It is just so gaudy looking, but okay. Um, I made it a little longer on that side. So I can remove a little bit on here. What does that look? We can't even see it. Perfect. And then you just pull it out here. Yep. Does this look better than the first try that I just already did? Had? Mm, slightly <laughs> if i'm lucky just very slightly probably not this is the wibble shunter so wibble shunter um this will be perfect for the little alco that eventually will show up but for right now we don't have that luxury so yeah the shunter has to move just machine components set that up correctly right now what is a short, nice little locomotive that we can throw on there? We're already using this one. It's not going to get up to speed, but I actually never use this, the Fairlyle. Um, so let's use that one instead. Get me a nice box car that fits the Fairlyle. Maybe this one. Uh, three should be fine. It just. It just has to move things. It doesn't have to do anything really fancy. And then Wivel Shunter. Very good. Let's see the far line move. Yeah, I never used this one before, but cool. Now we are. Perfect. Autosave. Yeah, you're showing up exactly when I didn't want you. But that's fine. 
The only thing I want to make sure here is that we're only loading what we actually want to care about. Load and unload that one, same thing here, and then live should be good. Okay, so we're only going to deal with machineries and nothing else should matter, and that's that sounds all great. Cool. The next line that we have to set up, we're just going to set up from here. This is going to be our um, blank line that needs to bring all our goods from uh, the lumber camp to the machine factory that we just set up. Atlantic feels appropriate for that. I don't know 100% that it is, but it feels appropriate. It's definitely American. Let's make you a certain length for now. 144 capacity, sure. I'll go with that. 10 million. For some reason, we have that money right now. Like it. Uh, put you on a new line. And that new line is going to start... Let's triple the speed so we can actually get moving. You're going to go from here all the way out to Wibblecomb because you are now in range. Um, I do need you to wait until full forever. Very good. And then let's just see what platform you are going to. Perfect. You're going on one that's actually available. So that looks good. You are machines, um, lumber supply. Am I mixing all my uh, conventions? Yes, absolutely. That That's what we're doing here. That's, that's what this is about. Okay, so that one's coming out. Are you out already? I think you already left. <laughs> okay. Okay, I like I like the amount of, of stuff that we have going on. That's exactly why I play this right now. We pay the two million that we have. We have 30 million available in loan if we want to. There is a lot of cargo sitting here for the bland delivery. Um it's making money. 57 is the rate. Blandford Forum, you are requiring 92, you're delivering 54, so I essentially have to double the wagons that are currently on here. I'm not going to double the wagons, but we will, well, I will, but we'll also increase the, the trains. Russian, 75 miles per hour. See, well, 80 is the max we can do on cargo right now, so we're just going to use that one because you are weaker than the 10-wheeler, so we're not gaining anything if I do that. Sorry, you're out. Um, give me something else that's useful. I don't want to keep using the Atlantic, but it's a better option than the 3.5 because we're just not going to run as much cargo as it thinks it wants. So currently we have a capacity of 72. We want to increase that to essentially 144. So there we go. Uh, money just went away. We need 4 million. Going once, going twice. There is my 4 million uh, managed vehicle. Modify 4. That looks good. And this rate updated to way too much now so now we go in here and remove one and then it updates to 99 is 99 pretty close to what we wanted 92 yes we're gonna leave that cool that looks great and should still keep making money because now the top speed is probably the same because 80 miles per hour is limited by the by the wagons and not by the train but that's all good i would like to set up the next line that goes out to, um, oh yeah, we're on the next level, perfect. 300 is what it currently ships. So we still have room for one more city. Yes, let's set up the big city. I need another cargo platform that can hold a lot of cargo. How can I accomplish that? In a reasonable manner. I think what I have to do is use the long ones for the serious uh, cargo and the short ones, I think I just have to build a short one out here. If I, uh, but if I build a short one up front here, that's not going to help much. If I extend this to be a short line, that may actually work. That may actually work. Let's see. What is the shortest one? It is white. You have five wagons. How long are you? Details. Your length is 75 meters. That is two of these together. I think we can make this work. Great. Configure. Uh, delete one of these so I can fit in. I need to fit in two tracks here, otherwise this doesn't work. We can remove you. Get me another one of you. Good. Cargo building. Looks great. <laughs> I'm not worried about that one at all. But these are the 40 meters that I need. 
Now give me a piece of track that can connect to what I need. Yes, that worked. Um, this one was never supposed to be a double slip, but now it is a double slip because whatever comes in here has to wait right there. So let's move that cargo train. White delivery, you will go to, instead of four, you're going to one. Um, what is ML function? Oh, it's a train. You already turned around. That's fine. Where are you? You're down here. Yep. Um, can we just turn this one off? Very good. Because I'm just going to... Oh, you have 37 pieces already on board. That's fine. I'll just let you go. Uh, because this should be more than enough. Let's put a signal there so other trains don't really complain. It's not a one-way, that's for sure. Put you there, and that should be good. Um, but yeah, now we have one huge platform available to get out to um, Henry, Henley Thames. Is that what it is? Henley on Thames. Very good. Set that one up. I, I didn't count how many trains were actually set up today. I know that it's a bunch, and I love it, because this is exactly what I want to do. This main line will be overloaded. That is what I'm going for. <laughs> we, we are playing a billion-dollar challenge, for sure, but uh, overload this thing, please. That is That makes fun. Why? Because you can actually go and fix it. The fixing part is what I really enjoy in the end. I don't expect all of this to work right away. Also, you're going a weird way, so I want you to not block the passenger right away. I want you to stay on that. You can't stay on that. Okay. You have to go onto that. Well, all right, whatever. That's fine. Let's just say that was on purpose anyways. <laughs> because I don't know. This one is the... Let's call it what it is. Mainline tools to Henley. I made that up. <laughs> but it, it'll be fine. Mainline tools to Henley. You will need to be able to carry a hundred tool. The, the rate has to be a hundred. And you have to be fast enough. I wish I would see another one yet. Um, this may be a 3.5 because it's a really long trip and I want you to speed up as fast as possible. Um, get our cargo in here. I do like this one, the boxcar, the American one. Um, let's just start out at 156, 173 meters. That feels good. We need a little more money. Uh, make it 12 million or so. So I don't run out right away because I have one more plan today. Just one more. Mainline. Uh, Mainline Tools Henley. Actually, that's a terrible name. I decided that's a terrible name. Why? Because a mainline does not work that way. Um, this will be, let's keep it running, mainline, boxcar, Henley. Yes. Okay. And I don't need you to run completely empty, so turn around. And then just go all the way over there and wait in your, in your spot. Perfect. There you go. This should work. There's still room here, which is nice. Um, there will be more room later on. Now, to my last and final trick. Let's add a station here. Um, how do I want to set that up? It is on a mountainside. It's not ideal, but it will be fine. I think... Ooh. No, we don't have slanted stations. Um, let's not make this more complicated than it has to be. This one, hopefully, is really fast. I'm going to make as as long as possible... Um, actually five, because I like having a single track on the outside. I can't do it this way. That will just be a tunnel, and that will be awful. So what we're going to do is set you up like this. You are as long as I can make you, so that should mean... There we go. Um, that should mean we will be able to fit most of the trains in here that will show up. Um, two and a half million? Yeah, sure, whatever. We, we can... We can... Uh, make this look prettier at the end if we really, really want to. Um, put that one in there. Do I actually need this many platforms? Probably not, but maybe because this steel factory, I don't know where it's going to go. Well, I have one place where I know where it's going to go, but that's that's all I have right now. Um, have you there? Let's make this one an iron delivery. This does not have to be complicated. Just, just do it. Just do it. How's this look? Um, like it's meant to be. That's how that looks. You can go in there. 
And I really enjoy having not just slip junctions everywhere. I actually like these diamond crossings in every once in a while. Make that fast enough for, for whatever goes on there. Let's have another connection here so you can actually pick what you want to do. Blow, throw, uh, throw that one in there. That looks pretty good to me. And now there's two more lines that we're going to set up. I won't have enough money right away, but I may rinse the, the loan amount that we still have available. We're going to get iron from here. Nope, this is the last one because I need coal otherwise. Iron from there all the way to Dunstable West. This will be a wait until loaded forever. Um, this will be a big boy line eventually, but this can be mainline hopper um, Henley. Um, that's good. I need about twice as much money. Let's leave 5 million in the bank so we have that available. What was this? What was the station? What length was that? It was 320 meters here. Do I have that available here? Um, maybe. Pretty close. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times 40, uh, 320. Yep, that works. So let's get the longest train that I can figure out here to make. It will be our strongest train that we have, which is only the um, the three five with a thousand. Once we have an electric here or the big board, that will be exactly what we're using. But for right now, that's what we have. Then let's use the appropriate wagons. You're just too small, so I have to use the gondola. Um, we could use the smaller ones, but I like the the long trains are like better with the big big wagons. Three hundred twenty is our goal. Three sixteen is what we get. Seventeen million is what we pay. Longest train it is, mainline, upper hen. Perfect. And with that, we will follow this guy all the way throughout the network. And that's all I have. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen. Um, there will be more. We are doing pretty all right for our current status. We are not at a billion yet. We're not going to be at a billion for a while. But life is going to be pretty good. Let's see how long this train actually is. It's... It's not ridiculously long. It's really, it's a good length for um, 1907. So I'm happy with that. 300 is a pretty good ratio or uh, rate of, of items that we get through. 84 is not ridiculous because that means I can actually add four of these trains on this main line to just pack the network more, which is exactly what I want to do. Um, so that is all really, really good. Um, let's set up the camera angle a little better. Hey, Ever Train. Appreciate it. Appreciate you stopping by. Um, and let's enjoy the trip. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again next time, and uh, I hope you come back. I'll turn the camera off, and then you can watch.